if you work with the grease pencil tool in any capacity as an animator or illustrator or whatever, this video will help you. There's an add-on that comes with Blender that has a bunch of tools to help those that work with Grease Pencil, but it's disabled by default. So let's check it out. This time we won't delete the default cube. We're deleting the whole default workspace. Suck it, Blender Box. We're opening a 2D animation workspace today with this bouncy example animation. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and enable the Grease Pencil Tools add-on. Press N to bring up the Properties panel and select Grease Pencil to see some of the tools available. First up, Box Deform. Box Deform adds classic transform tools to your strokes. Either click it or press the shortcut Ctrl T to activate. Doing so in object mode will allow you to transform the whole Grease Pencil object. Either use the normal Translate, Rotate or Scale tools or grab the corners of the box to distort. Doing so in edit mode allows you to transform specific selections in your grease pencil object. Doing so in draw mode will transform the last drawn stroke only, good for tidying up. Press spacebar or enter to confirm changes. Delete backspace Control T or tab twice to cancel. Press M to toggle between linear or spline mode, which just adds invisible handles to the vertex points, smoothing out the stroke a bit. For more control, press 1 through 9, not on the numpad, the normal 1 through 9 at the top of the keyboard to add more control points to your transform. Control left, right or up, down will add control points per X or Y axis respectively. Boom. Box deform. Real nice. Straighten stroke. This helps you draw perfect lines between points. Just draw a stroke and click the straighten stroke button to drag all the vertex points into line. The little slider box will interpolate for you between your original stroke at zero and perfectly straight at 100%. New strokes that you straighten will remember the last value you chose. So shift click the straight stroke box to reset it to 100%. Rotate canvas. Finally, we can easily rotate the canvas view whilst drawing. Default shortcut is Control alt middle mouse but this and any other shortcut for Grease Pencil tools can be changed in the add-on preferences. Press and hold middle mouse to rotate, hold shift to snap to increments, which can be set in the preferences again. To reset, just hold Control and alt and click the middle mouse. This one's real simple, but hot damn is it ever so welcome. Timeline Scrub A deceptively useful timeline scrub. Instead of moving down to the timeline and dragging back and forth, just hold Alt and Middle Mouse to scrub back and forth. You can snap by keyframes too by holding Right Mouse, Control or Shift after you've brought up the scrubber. Super useful for animators. Mwah. Camera Control Tools The last tools are some quality of life camera controls. When looking through the camera, you can zoom the viewport to actual size with 1 to 1, zoom to fit your active area, and save the current camera rotation as the new default. Then click Reset Rotation to revert to that at any time. If you cock it up, to go back to the original, just press Rotate Canvas Shortcut Control on Middle Mouse and save rotation again. Finally, you can flip the camera view back and forth with this button, useful for artists who like to flip their drawings to check their forms and perspectives. And that's it, a whole bunch of useful tools for grease pencil artists. Cheers! If you like this video, there's plenty more on the channel, so go check them out.